Not a single cookie zone. Enter Imphal Airport. That is not normal. I am a daughter of Letin Tang Vaipe, a great granddaughter of Paulet Kuki. Illegal immigrants will not speak their identity. Right or wrong? Right. Right or wrong? Right. So in the in Manipur Valley, then they say Manipur is peaceful. Shanti Vapas Agehe. That is only in Infal. Let me tell you, it's not in the hills area where we belong. It's not in the hills. There is no house for us to go back in Infal. We are kicked out from our house. His father was brutally assaulted and they dare call him and his family illegal immigrants. How shame that is for the nation. Think about it. Think about it. Not even one dead body buried for over a hundred years. And our country is saying, Normal CF. Come back again. Let me tell you, my people, stand with us. We need our own administration. We have to go for ourselves. We will not be able to live with people who torture us, who, who try and kill her, his father, and my family, and our family. How can you ever expect us to go back there and lead a normal life? Today, I really want everybody to say that we, separation is the only solution. Can we say once again? Separation! We are at war. Are we defeated? No. Are we defeated? No. War has been mounted upon us. Are we defeated? No. Are we ever going to be defeated? No. This is the spirit. We didn't initiate war. It has been mounted on us. We are being targeted, picked up, identified individually and killed and molested and humiliated. Why? What wrong have we done? What wrong has the tribals, the Kuki, Zomar, what wrong has we done to deserve what we are facing today? You have to behave your thought. So you cannot deny there is an ethnic cleansing in Manipur. The state where we come from. And people have to understand what is this state called Manipur? How many tribes comprise of the state we understand as Manipur? And who is the owner of Manipur? All the inhabitants of Manipur are the owners of Manipur. And now we have been chased out. We didn't waste war upon anybody. War has been waste upon us. They are in, with the intention of grabbing our land. This is where our people live and we have to defend our border. We don't go step onto the land and try to take the land. <coughs> they are trying to enter to our land and we are defending ourselves. And we're not going to give up. Why is the central government forcing us to live together when we cannot live together? <coughs> Rather, they should set up a separate administration so that we can administer ourselves, govern ourselves, make our own laws as we always did. It's not even a demand, it's a claim. Our people have always administered themselves until this so-called Manipur government have tried to grab our land and try to come and overpower our people and try to come and impose their policies on us. Had they lived happily in the valley, this would, this would have happened. Now they want our land, they want to impose their laws, they want to impose their rules, and now we tribals have our own tradition and cultures and customs where our great-grandfathers have been living happily with. They have been good neighbors. But now in this generation, the new generation, we are being attacked politically, physically, in all ways. So long as there is blood in our body, there will be separate administration. <laughs> political waves come. When political wave comes, map can change. States are created. Union territories are created. There is nothing permanent. So now time has come for a change in Manipur. And we the people, we need to voice out people, we need to cry out, and we are not demanding, I repeat, we are claiming what is rightfully ours, the self-government, the land which we have, how to administer our land, how to, how to generate uh, products for our daily life, this is what we have been doing before Manipur existed, this is what we have been doing before India existed, 
but now we're part of India and we're demarcated into a state called Manipur and now we have grievances that were being denied our rightful forefathers' rights. And we are reclaiming it should be settled. We cannot live together. Hence, central government should initiate a system where we should live separately and be a good neighbor. We have made the independence of 77 years. 77 years of independence. Our forefathers fought for the independence of our land. We love India. We love being Indian citizen. Hum is desh ke nagrik hai. How dare they call us kooky militants, illegal immigrants? We love India. We are Indians. So peace and normalcy will prevail when you submit. When you are able to recover all the more than 4,000 looted, sophisticated guns. Normalcy will return when you provide security, a peaceful environment for all the displaced students from universities, colleges and schools. When our tribal state government employees can come back to the valleys or at least they are given places to be relocated in other hill districts. Peace and normalcy will return when you do not spread fake news, when you do not spread false propaganda saying that we are cookie militants or illegal uh, immigrants. We are Indians, hum is desh ke nagrik hai, and no one can tag, uh, tag us as illegal immigrants or cookie militants.